What's going on guys? This is Vince with vshred.com and in today's video I got episode four of my all about shoulders playlist. Today I'm going to show you five trap exercises to get bigger shoulders. Like I said, today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a couple of different exercises that are great for anybody looking to build up their traps. That's just gonna be the muscle that's running up here, makes your shoulders look like they're nice and big. Um, this is also, like I said, going to be episode four of my All About Shoulders playlist where I've talked about the all the three different heads of the deltoid, which is gonna be that medial head, that rear delt, the front delt, Today's the trap version, and then for the next video, I'm gonna have a workout, basically a full shoulder workout, bringing it all together. If you wanna check out any of those videos, you can check out the playlist up here for all the different exercises, for all the different areas of the shoulders. So go check that out. Also, if you guys are looking to get in shape, I do have a free body type quiz that helps you figure out what your body type is to show you what the three most important things that you need to be doing in the gym and with your diet to get in shape fast and with just less effort because you're not gonna be doing things that you don't need to be doing. So if you wanna check that out, you can click the link down in the description below this video. Also, if you guys want to be getting notified about these videos when I post them, rather than just randomly stumbling across them, I get a lot of viewers who aren't even subscribed to the channel, but love the videos. So if you wanna make sure that you are getting notified, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button down below and the little notification bell next to the subscribe button. That way you actually get notified when I post a new video. So let's get into these exercises. So the first one that we got is the most common of the shoulder which of the trap exercises which is just gonna be a regular shrug. Now, these can be with a barbell, these can be with dumbbells. I'm gonna show them you, to you with dumbbells, um, but I want to make sure that you are doing them correctly and not making some of the most common mistakes that I see when people do shrugs, which is A, first off, going too heavy, that people are grabbing, I don't know, maybe they're getting barbells and they're just kind of going like this, and not, actually, it's more like this, and not getting anything out of it, versus, really trying to get that full range of motion. There's nothing more important than getting full range of motion when you're trying to build muscle. So getting your uh, shoulders into a nice position right here, but then, so you're basically going to roll them back a little bit, get them nice and square, but then you want to drop them down as low as you can. By dropping them down as low as you can, you're going to feel a stretch in that trap muscle. Then from there, you're going to, I like to always think that Someone asked me a question because a lot of times it can be kind of difficult to create that mind-muscle connection with your trap. So I act as if someone is asking me a question and so it's pressed down and then I go, I don't know. And I just kind of shrug up because it's just a very natural motion to just go, I don't know, and shrug up versus actually trying to lift this heavy weight because a lot of times people will bend their elbows a lot and kind of lift it up like this where they're getting a lot of bicep engagement when they shouldn't be. So. Pressing it all the way down, getting a nice stretch in your trap muscle, and then taking your shoulders, shrugging them all the way up as high as you can, squeezing at the top, going back down to full extension, back up as high as you can. Down as far as you can, up as high as you can. Down as far as you can, up as high as you can. So, a common exercise as number one, but common for a good reason because it works great. Just make sure that you are getting that full range of motion. So that's exercise number one. Exercise number two, we're gonna stay right here. We're gonna keep these dumbbells and these I like to do with dumbbells, which is going to be a shrug pause. So this is, you've probably done um, exercise pauses with or pause reps with other exercises, which is basically where you pause at some point throughout the exercise. So. What's great about them with shrugs is a lot of times, like I said, people they get really they go really heavy with shrugs, whether it's with barbells or with dumbbells, they grab weight that they can't really achieve that full range of motion. So because they're not, they're just kind of creating this momentum to just kind of move that weight a little bit. They're not really getting that much tension on the muscle. I mentioned how that full range of motion is crucial when you're trying to build muscle, but another part of building muscle is creating the proper amount of tension the time under tension for that muscle. But when you're going heavy and you're just doing these jerky motions, maybe it is explosive and you are building a little bit of muscle, but another way to build a lot of muscle is to make sure that you are getting tension on that muscle 
and making sure that blood is getting rushed into that muscle, creating those micro tears and building muscle. So shrug pauses, a great exercise. I've made a video about these in the past, but this is probably my favorite trap exercise that there is. Um, but what you're gonna do, same thing, you're gonna roll your shoulders back, you're gonna press them down as far as you can, and then from there, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna shrug up as high as you can, but rather than going back down, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then you're going to lower it down, one, two, three, four, five. Then press it all the way down, up, one, two, three, four, five, down, one, two, three, and as soon as you reach five seconds at the bottom, you should be at a full stretch, back into the next one. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Not gonna bore you with a couple more reps of those, but you get the point. It's all about maintaining that tension. So you get up, you get that peak contraction, you hold it for five seconds, and rather than just dropping it down, because a lot of times people are getting these heavy weights and they're shrugging it up, but then they're just dropping it back down, just like this and look like idiots. But instead of doing that, you can shrug it up, hold it to the top, get that tension at the top, and then release it down in a nice controlled motion really slowly so you can optimize the amount of tension on that muscle and therefore shock it into some new growth. So that's exercise number two. All right, exercise number three, we're gonna be doing another shrug variation, but we're going to be dropping the barbells, dropping the dumbbells, and we're gonna be doing a cable shrug, but with a single arm. So the thing I like about this exercise is it's very similar to what I mentioned if you watched my video about front delts, how with dumbbells and barbells, it's basically just gravity working against you. So you, can, you get the most tension when you're just pulling straight up, which is good for a shrug, but at the same time, you wanna shorten the muscle as much as possible. So you actually want to bring this almost back and across your body so that it comes inward. And that's also going to work your, your rhomboid more, which is that inner back muscle back there. So to do that, you can get a cable and you can actually have it away from your body. So I'm gonna get a cable, just basically a regular handle right here, down to the bottom, and I'm going to step away from this. So now I'm not stepping too far to where it's way out here and where I'm kind of pulling in at a very, uh, like a, an angle, like too much of an angle basically, too flat. So I'm gonna be going up at the same time, but I'm also going to be pulling more inwards towards the midline of my body. So from here, I'm gonna get into a nice strong position. And like I said, rather than just shrugging upwards, I'm actually gonna be shrugging, or so I'm gonna get that full extension. So get that nice stretch and that trap muscle, and then you're going to bring it up and back and back down. So you're going to be bringing it, shrugging up, but you're also going to be bringing it in towards your body, which is really going to hit your trap and rhomboid muscle better than personally better than I think a dumbbell and a barbell hits my trap muscles. So I can actually show you this from the back if you want. So that trap muscle back there, I'm actually going to be bringing it up and in just like that and getting full extension up and in. All the way back down, up and in. Just like that. So making sure you're doing it with both arms making sure you are not only pulling it up, you're not only shrugging up, but you're also shrugging it back and in towards the midline of your body. That way you can really just crush that trap muscle, hit your rhomboids real well, and just get a little bit of upper neck muscle, basically. So um, that's exercise number three. Oh, hey, didn't see there. So this is gonna be the fourth exercise, actually. I just walked to you. What was that exercise? Well, it was a farmer's walk. So. What this is gonna be is basically just grabbing some weights. It can be plates, it can be really heavy dumbbells. There's even some people, I've seen people do them with the, the, the hex bar basically, which is where that little rectangle goes around you. Just anything where you're gonna be able to carry a lot of weight. The reasoning behind that is because when you're carrying a lot of weight, you're automatically using your shoulders to hold that up. So you're not ever really dra dragging it down as far as you can. You're holding it into a nice strong position right here. And by holding it in a nice strong position right there, you're using your trap muscle, you're using your shoulder muscles to keep that in place right there. So whatever weight you're using, and typically you can go pretty heavy, which makes this a great exercise. You basically just pick up this weight, you walk as far as you can with the weight until your shoulders can't really take it anymore and you drop the weight and that's a set. So you can really get up there into the even 100 pound dumbbells 
and basically walk across your gym. Some people have nice grassy areas at their gym or maybe even out on the pavement and pick up some nice heavy weights. Keep your shoulders in a nice stationary spot. Pick up those weights and don't let them drag way down here. You want them in a nice strong position right there because now my traps are getting engaged and walking. So instead of just like this and walking, strong position and walk. And that's exercise number four. All right, and the fifth exercise is going to be another great exercise for the traps. Very good explosive movements is the hang clean. So I got me a nice barbell down here with some plates on each side. Uh, and this is a great exercise for the traps because I think most people don't really understand the form behind a hang clean. And the fact of the matter is that a lot of it comes down to explosive pulling with your traps up just like that. And then once you get, and you and basically you get this explosive movement up, you shrug it up and then you flip your wrist down under the bar and you stand up nice and tall just like that. And then when you drop it back down, what are you using to catch it when you drop it back down? Well, you're using a lot of your shoulder stabilization, a lot of your trap muscles. So a great movement, a great exercise for your traps. I'll show you how to do it real quick. So I'm gonna grab this bar, probably just outside of shoulder width because when you're up here, you want it to be in a nice comfortable position. You don't wanna be in too close. You don't, don't wanna be out too far. Nice comfortable position. So whatever's going to be comfortable right there, whatever feels natural, that's about where you want it on the bar. So I'm gonna grab this bar, I'm gonna stand up straight, and then from here, like I said, you're not like, I don't know what most people do when they're trying to lift this bar up. Maybe they try to use too much bicep. Don't know what they're doing. But what you wanna do is really focus on shrugging up as much as you can, creating a lot of momentum to get that up, explosive movement, and then, and then also pull up with your shoulder. So trap, shoulder, just like that. Trap, shoulder, just like that, and then, get it up high enough so that you get right under the bar just in time and then drop it back down. And as you drop it back down, you're catching it with your, your or you're basically able to control that by using your shoulder muscles. So same thing, shrug it up, just like that. Just like that. So nice explosive movement, shrugging down, shrugging down. Ooh, not gonna do too many of those. I will burn myself out pretty quickly. But a great trap exercise. Really focus on getting as much explosive shrugging as you can. Lift those elbows up and flip yourself up under the bar. Stand up, drop it back down, catch yourself, shrug up, drop back down. A great exercise for your traps. But that ends the trap video. That's five exercises that are amazing for building your trap, uh, building the your traps up so that they get bigger, they get stronger. Um, like I said, if you guys are looking to get in better shape, I have a free body type quiz. It tells you the exact type of training and the exact type of diet that you need to be following in order to burn body fat, in order to lose weight, to build muscle. It'll tell you exactly what to do. You can check it out by clicking the link in the description below this video. Other than that, if you guys want to learn about the other parts of the shoulders, medial head of the deltoid, rear, deltoid front deltoid today was all about traps i got another video coming bringing it all together for a complete shoulder workout go to my all about shoulders playlist up here check out whichever the videos that you're wanting to learn exercises about form for those exercises so that you know you're doing them right so that you can build your shoulders how you want to build them go check it out if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you're subscribing so that you actually see these videos when i post them you don't miss out on anything you get notified when i post them so make sure you're clicking the little notification bell next to the subscribe button. That way you know when I post one. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.